Baldi was actually not a Baldi. He was a baby, but not actually because he had a different transformation. The way that he had, he, got, he like retained his youth and like got a full head of hair, the long black hair looking like Sephiroth, but black hair. That transformation was sick. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I love Baldi's design when he transformed. Now, obviously, say has two prepare and he took him out. He had a bunch of weights, like doing some Rock Lee shit. I only saw seven bands on one wrist, but somehow he dropped like 50 in a pile and he's like, this is my real speed. I'd like to hope that he actually has extra weights on his legs that he'll pull off later. There's some other suspicions like, did the fourth Heavenly King actually die or not? Did you lie about that? Blah, blah, blah. So I'm actually not sure anymore, but I believe today's episode is going to be like a chill vacation episode where kids are going to go to the casino and have fun, right? Let's begin today's reaction though. I feel like we shouldn't be advertising casinos to kids, man. And then what? We're going to pimp them out? I mean, you do have to dress up when you're going to casinos, I guess. Is it really just going to be a chill, casual episode, guys? Hot spring. Hot spring. Communal bathing. Mixed bathing. In every anime, you would have the guy trying to sneak in a peep, right? And being all horny for the girls in the bathing, in, in, this, in the fucking bath scenes. But like, obviously, Rista is the one that's going to be super horny for Seiya and go, Oh, shook's pack. Okay, her voice acting is on hit. My brain is going limp. Why are they lame? I want to see the goddesses, man, in dresses. Or like the bathing suits. What? Oh, she heard all that shit talk. She heard all the shit talk. <laughs> I feel like we shouldn't put Eruru in stuff like this, man. But then they're gonna do something de more degenerate. And put her in like a fucking, you know, the blue bathing suit, the one suit, the one piece with like a little name tag, which is like even more degenerate because it's like a middle school bathing suit. So even though you're covering more, it's somehow like fetishizing into that. It's it's even more fucked up that more you cover. I don't. You, you just don't win with Lolly. Yes, the worker is real nice though. That's just. Where's the top? Where's the top? Yeah. Topless style. I see. Is she trolling us? I think she's trolling. Yeah, she is. I'm sure they're gonna censor the titties for us, right? What is the? <laughs> Just a single? Just a single? <laughs> I want to see the worker wearing this, man. What, this is a fucking eye patch? What, this, this single fucking titty bra is like the same thing like an eye patch? <laughs> right over here, right over here. Thank God they censored the titties for us, but dangerous, dangerous. <laughs> She's a disgraced goddess. Well, you started talking shit first. Bathing suit for sale. It's like a man thong. Loincloth. Boyfriend? Cap? Cap? <laughs> the elephant noise. I think that in a hundred girlfriends, right? When, uh, what was her name? The lolly showed up in the, uh, the bathing room and Rentara was there. Like, when, when, we, when we saw that bear crotch, it was like also an elephant noise, right? Obviously, the elephant nose is, you know, it's alluring to something. <laughs> she folded so easily. I wonder how stacked Seiya is down there. He's probably hung, huh? He's probably fucking huge, right? You're gonna actually take that? You're gonna actually take that? It's totally fine. It's totally fine for you to like, you know, go to a casino, but don't think about that. Yeah. We got a sale? Wait, isn't there like a meme of like two really jacked dudes doing like a handshake like this? I think one is from like Full Metal Alchemist. I forgot the other one, but it's like, I, I don't know. I just thought about that when they just did this. <laughs> I feel so bad for that soldier there. <laughs> He's just doing his fucking job while the goddess is fucking fucking around, taking kids to casinos and buying random shit. Hey, random soldier, nice fucking job. Boom. Okay. Casino, get drunk. Put the bath, put the kids to bed, and then what say a what? Well, that was training though. What Valkyrie was doing was training. Huh? What's going on? Maybe it's not going to be a casual episode after all. We have sunlight. We have sunset lighting right now too. 
No, 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 no. This is a very ominous lighting. Whenever there's like lighting like this, if it's in rom-com, a confession of some dramatic shit's about to happen. In any other anime, it's probably some bad news. Where'd he go? Oh wait, this is the guy that beat the goddess in like a battle of healing. He's he's literally better than Rista at healing. Greater medicinal herb. There's no way he's at the casino right now. He doesn't gamble. What does he do? I feel like he's just training somewhere? I don't know. Is he already at the bathhouse? Is he already at the casino? What is he doing? What? Oh, Arya. What's going on? Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Easter's gone? Seiya's gone? Oh, no, Easter's expecting it. Arya's crying? What, 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 do we, what do we do? No, this gotta be something dumb. This gotta be something stupid and silly, right? Time stands actually still here. I know this is a totally different anime. But I feel like there's gonna be a moment like this in Data Life with like the Yggdrasil tree and you know how all the different fucking parts of the tree relates to the different angels and I don't know, big tree is probably fucking important. But anyways, back to Cautious Hero. Where's Seiya? Parted ways? He left already? Alone? Why? Yeah, he's gotta be cautious. Unless he already found a way to counter it. Cap, I don't fuck it. Cap, cap, cap. There's no shot. Say it gives a fuck about Rista's life like that to the point where he's like gonna go by himself just to be just to save her. No, I don't believe that shit. You know how Say it treats Rista. She smells like shit. No, I don't believe that. No, 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 no. Not, not, not save you. No, I, there's gotta be an ulterior motive. Nope, no, we're not gonna fall for it. We're not gonna fall for it. We're gonna be very cautious about this. Yeah, that could never happen. You're right. You're right. Unless we're going with some crazy fucking twist and like from the beginning he cared about goddess Rista so much that he was trying to push her away trying to be intentionally mean because he didn't want her to get too close. There's there's no fucking shot. I don't no no the Is that what happened with Arya? Is that why Arya's crying? Because, like, our theory right now is that Seiya is a resummoned hero because Arya summoned him before and Seiya somehow died. I, but it was B class threat. Why did he fucking die early? Uh, maybe because he was trying to protect Arya after understanding the concept of chain destruction, so he headed off Earth. I, I don't know. Did chains of destruction exist in that world? Probably not. It was B class threat. I don't fucking know. Friends? What? Cap, Cap, I don't believe that. Your back carriages. No, stop. No, stop it. No, I don't believe you. Really? He actually did care that much? That's why he was being so tsundere all this time? Just to protect? No, I don't believe it. No, he's just a dick! No shot! Friends? We are not friends! <sighs> he did save them, but I feel like we gained more from that rather than just saving them as the main reason. No! No, I... He didn't even catch her after fucking freeing her against the War Master. Remember that? When he showed up at the end? At, at, like, sorry, when Rista was in super danger against Baldi? No, I just... Uh, where are we going with this? Is he truly so cautious that he was an ultimate tsundere from the beginning because he wanted to protect his friends? No. No. Yeah. So, because like, he used a fake out in the beginning... But every time he started using new skills that we've never heard of, I was like, no, nah, bro's using fucking double fake out or triple fake out. How actually strong is he? What does he actually have? Okay, his true stats. They're all maxed out. When do I want? I want to know when he already reached that. I'd like to believe that he was already maxed out from like episode. When, whenever he stopped doing all those squats, right? Whenever we stopped coming here to do all those squats, I, I would like to believe he reached max level then. Never mind. These are the stats when he fought in the Dragon Village. So even at the Dragon Village, we were already fucking ready. I still don't believe it. No. I'm not gonna fall for this. No, I'm not falling for this. Yeah, it's a fake one. No, he just 
We just didn't tell the kids to make them not feel bad, right? It was like Platinum Plus or some shit. Yeah. Sorry, kids. Oh, hello, Valkyrie. So we have that gate skill ready? All right. Destruction or what? What? what, 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 what this is actually a ceremony? You witnessed her destruction aura investiture. What? What is it? <laughs> Basically, when they were in bed together, that's what the ceremony was, and that's important to like learn the gate skill. What? Okay. All right. Oh yeah, it definitely touched her. All right. But if he dies, it's only from this soul, right? I, I doubt his actual soul on Earth will get killed. So even though he dies here, he'll be able to take out the Demon Lord. Everything will be fine at the end of the day, right? Here. Why, why is Arya so sad about this? Why would she ever care about Seiya like this, right? So again, Seiya has to be someone Arya summoned before. And why is he trying to protect us if he actually is? I want the truth. Come on, give me it. And we skipped it. <laughs> the fuck? What is this? What the fuck is this party? Mash! Eruru! Arista! But back when Arya summoned Seiya, this is like a repeat. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay. How do they fail this world, though? Long hair Arya is nice. I still prefer short hair Arya like this, though. Because if there was long hair, then you can't see her back like this. I don't know. I'm getting... I'm developing a new taste, an acquired taste for like short, you know, bob haircut girls like Arya like that. It's it's nice. Hundred years ago, okay. Yeah, it's B level. Why did they fail B level? Say ya, see? Yeah. He's so much nicer to these kids. He's actually smiling while telling these kids like that. He never did that to match their editor, man. <laughs> Just do our best. Was he not? Gotta be okay. This is not cautious, hero. This this is risky here. Gonna be okay? No, it's ready perfectly. His catchphrase is there. So, I thought that like you would lose memories when you like die, but like maybe you don't lose your memories. Maybe he died because he died because he wasn't being cautious enough. He's like super cautious to never make that same mistake again. Is that where we're going with this? Or did he subconsciously somehow become cautious after losing his memories? I don't really know. Yeah. And he was <laughs> he just a gonna be okay guy. Not ready perfectly. Here we go. Battle against the demon lord. Just a big monster thing. It's like a chimera. Okay, okay. Never mind. What are these subs? I'll find an opening and settle this lickety split. Gonna be okay. <laughs> what are these new lines, Seiya? Oh, sorry, old lines. Two HP left! Okay, bro, you're gonna die. Bro has a hole where his heart should be. That's his left side, by the way. To his perspective, that's his left side. <laughs> Gonna be okay. It's fine. We got two HP. It's not one HP. We got two HP left. It feels good. I think you're dying. You're fading in and out because you're dying. You know what? I think Risky Hero will be a hilarious, like another anime. Like straight up. Even just like having, like Cautious Hero was hilarious. But I think Risky Hero could also be just as hilarious. You know what I mean? Alright, somehow we won though, sure. Cool, see? Gonna be okay. It worked out. Somehow. <laughs> Yo, Colt's leg is missing. I mean, you healed his fucking hole, so I'm sure it's gonna be okay. Alright. It's gonna be okay. Totally different. Is that why Seiya like slaps the shit out of Rosalie so much? He just hates like how he she reminds him of his past self, but that still implies that he retained those memories. I just don't know. 
Did he or did he not retain memories after dying in this world? I don't know, man. We don't know that mechanic. He always had an innate gift for fighting, but he hate leveling. Just somehow he could defeat it. <laughs> Gonna be okay. Somehow. Oh, hello, big monster. Basically the exact opposite of the Seiya we know now. Oh, he's decked out in gear. Look at that armor and sword. Oh. I guess they acquired the version of Exhaustion and the ultimate armor in this world here. The Sage's Village? The Sage's Village? Wait, oh, 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 wait. And because we didn't go there, we're gonna lose? Why is he in a rush? Wouldn't it be crazy, like, if he's like this because of a past life before this one? You know what I mean? Like, even before this, he was, like, summoned before. And the only reason he's been all risky like this is because the summon in the past world before this one has some kind of way that, like, disrupted his mentality. So he's like, no, I gotta fucking go fast this time. I, I don't know. Yeah, maybe this is, like, completionist here, exactly. Just, like, before this, he got summoned to be the completionist hero by fucking, I don't know, Ishtar. Fuck it, why not? Well, it was Ishtar. I, I don't care. And, and then he took too long, so people died, and then he failed that world. So now, he with those memories, he came to this one, summoned by Arya, and this time he's like, all right, we gotta be fucking go, go, go. We, we gotta be risky hero. But being risky also wasn't enough. So now, the third time's a charm. Now it's like, all right, now we gotta be cautious. Ready? Well, no, cautious is the same thing as completionist hero, because you're like taking a lot of time, but you know what I mean, right? But where are we going with this? Damn, he's so nice to Tiana. He would never say this to Rista. Gonna be okay. Gonna be okay. Say it. Gonna be okay. Gonna be okay. It was not gonna be okay. It was not Daijobu. It was definitely not gonna be okay. <laughs> Here we go. That's the deep. That's the demon lord. No shot. What are you? This is the demon lord in this world. It's a fucking frog, bro. What? What is that frog thing in fucking? What? What is in League of Legends? You know the one that swallows you? <laughs> Looking like that ass, dude. A frog. Look at that coat jacket, bro. Looks like a fucking like Mario, like a like a Mar super super Mario boss, dude. Fucking Tom Kinch looking ass. Yeah. Okay. Alright, we cut it in half. Was that actually the demon lord? No shot, right? That was it? No, I don't believe it. I mean, it is B, B like difficulty. But it's not gonna be okay. Second phase? What's gonna happen? Second phase. Mm. Cole's dead! Cole's dead! Not gonna be okay! Oh, you ain't healing that. Colt, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna forget you real quick, but salutes. Tom Kent is back. And he's thicker than ever. Oh, no. Don't do that to Arya, though. Okay, two phases, basically. See, if we only went to the Sage's village, we would have known about this. Yeah, he actually just swallowed Arya. God damn. I kind of wanted to him like play around with the tentacles a little bit more, but rip. I mean, she's fine. Gonna be okay, right? It's not gonna be okay. We should have been cautious. And she did. Rip Tiana. This is actually pretty sad, but kind of silly and dumb at the same time because it's a random frog monster, but this is still fucked up. Him like seeing everyone that he loved like die like that. What? He fucked? Tiana was about to have Seiya's kid? What? Oh, oh my god, wait! What? No shot, we're gonna perform a fucking abortion right now. Don't let me see this. I don't want to see that. Holy shit, that actually happened. Say and Tiana fuck, they had a kid on its way.
The frog demon lord literally ripped it out and ate it first. So, it, he has to have retained the memories. There's no shot. The only way someone becomes impossibly cautious is if this shit happens, then they carry forward. So, like, all the funny things that were happening in Cautious Hero, it wasn't actually funny. This is the result of a man being crushed like that to absolute despair to the point where he just becomes impossibly cautious. And we were laughing at it all this time. What the fuck? We were laughing at a man's PTSD the entire time. You guys were laughing with me! You, you guys were laughing with me the entire time! That, that's not fair. That's not... This is... This is insane. I... Holy shit. I... I think this is really good for the show, though. Because, like, so far, the whole cautious hero gimmick of being funny... It was kind of getting a little bit old, right? There's only so many cautious moments that you can repeat and try to make it more funny each time. And it was doing a good job, but like adding a depth of complexity like this, just throwing this backstory in our heads. Like, yeah, those funny moments, they're not so funny now, are they? You realize now why he's being so cautious. It's like, oh my God, that is dark. I would love for it to be all bullshit. And it's like, that's like, that was all a lie. <laughs> Whose fault was it then? But you couldn't convince him. It's not your fault. Damn, even like the teary-eyed perp by POV right now is from Rista. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Tiana is... Say... Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, T Tiana is Rista. <laughs> hey, no fucking shot. I could have ever made this kind of guess. This is like way too detailed of a guess, right? T like, I think I did a pretty decent job trying to catch on to the fact that maybe say it was like a resummon person, but like, yeah, it was like the same voice actor there. But like, there is no fucking shot before any of this. You could have been like, oh, maybe, you know, say uh, so Rista was actually a human in Saya's party before that died and was a green card. Nah, it's just. That's crazy. Nah, that's fucking crazy. But that means they fucked in a past life. She did simp for him super hard. Maybe even all the simping is because of, you know, her, like, love before. And it's just all carried over. So all those, like, oh, six pack scenes, like, that, that was all because of it. That's all the setup. This show was not just a goofy comedy show. We're just getting fucking trauma dumped right now. Just getting fucking RKO'd out of nowhere. Just fucking dunked on us. I feel so bad for laughing all that time. But no, I don't feel bad. Because you guys laugh with me. It's fine. It wasn't even coincidence. Fate made her pick. Holy shit. Whoa! Of course, as with you say, it does not remember that past. So they don't carry on the full memories, but obviously some aspects carries over. Just like how Tiana loves Seiya, Rista loves Seiya for whatever reason because of the past life. And Seiya being super cautious is because not that he specifically remembered those memories, but because of the past life, it kind of carries over like that is what they're saying, right? His regret, yeah, exactly. It's like etched into his soul, even though he doesn't know the details. Ready perfectly. Right! Properties versus status! Right? That was like the one of the first things I called it. I was like, what the fuck? You call out properties, but it still opened up a thing. But then you call, you said, no, you gotta call it status. Yeah. What is it? What is that? What is it? Huh? So it's like a separate panel that lets you look at the previous like time that's been tried? What? It proper what 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 is property specific? Status is obviously your stats and skills and levels and stuff. Properties is a separate UI that shows you something else that tells you that you've had a past life. I mean, she's a goddess. She won't lose. Unless, oh, they have, you know, chain destruction, actually. Yeah, the chain destruction is pretty scary. Of course she is. Because you told her this past, she's gonna go. Alright. 
Are we even gonna get a season two? I feel like everything can get wrapped up next episode. Oh, now you care about the kids' fucking safety? You are willing to take them to the casino. I understand killing, dying is worse than gambling addiction, but like, come on now. Oh, you're gonna act all, oh, kids shouldn't be doing this? Shut the fuck up, Rista. You were trying to take them to the fucking gambling casino. All right, let's go, Mash. Let's go, Eru, let's go. Come on back, Harriers. We're past lovers. Be cautiously, cautiously, cautious. You may be alien. To this is from properties, right? Because the same, you know, the red, pink, gold. It's not fair. Properties in episode one was blue. It was blue. No, we can go back to episode one. Check it. I guarantee you the color was not red or pink. No, was it red? No, it wasn't. No way. I don't believe you. Are you sure? Are you completely sure about this? I will fucking check right now. I will check right now. I don't have episode one with me right now in my folders, but if I go cautious here in my YouTube you know, page, no, we're gonna do this right now. I don't care. We're gonna check this right now. Episode one, we're gonna check this together. Was properties red or blue? Here we go, guys. Let's check it out full screen, all right? Let's see it. Where did he get summoned? How handsome, how smart? All right, he gets summoned. It's gonna take a little bit. Hold up, hold up, let me see. Where, here it is, here it is. <laughs> Wait, ah! Look at it. Go ahead and say it, right? He already summoned it right here. Status. Properties. <laughs> and it's blue! <laughs> fucking Ishtar lied, dude. Fucking Ishtar lied. It's, it's like blue turquoise color. It's fucking turtling. But anyways, it's red here. It's like pinkish red. And basically, it's like a, a note to, let's say, from the past life note. Like, behave differently. Make sure to save the world, your friends, and the one you love. Rista. Not Arya. And that's it. This time, for sure. That's the episode. Oh, I don't... Dude, I thought this was gonna be fun, random, goofy fan service episode in the casino and the, in the hot spring. But like... <laughs> this is like... Everything I knew about this series is just... I didn't know. I thought it was a dumb comedy show. I thought everything was just funny and goofy, but it's like... No. There was a reason why he was being super cautious and yes it was delivered and executed in a manner that was extremely comic like funny comedy is obviously a focus of the show but the reason why he acts like that it was all because of his past life his fucking lover was killed by getting the baby feasted first we don't really care about colt colt can go fuck himself i don't care about colt okay but you know <laughs> Tiana down like that, you know, him having this like mindset of not ready perfectly, but you know, gonna be okay. That's what led to this. That's why he had to change by using properties. That's crazy, man. Everything was there from the beginning and I was kind of sniffing it out, but damn. I could have never imagined that Rista was also involved like that, but that's it. We have one more episode, season finale. And based on the pacing of this, it truly feels like we can end the season or the series with this one episode, assuming we take out the Demon Lord. But everyone's been begging for a season two. So this implies that next episode, we're not really going to get much closure. In fact, it'll probably open up possibilities of so much other shit that could happen in this show that warrants a season two. So I'm very excited for that. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.